The problem is we have a stuck real lock bolt. And the type of real lock bolt we're talking about today is this type of the spinning ring that they call a high security real lock bolt. There's many different types of real locks on the market. Here you have the same type but without the spinning ring. On these types, you can use a regular snap-on or blue point wheel lock set, which is a very aggressive grabbing socket that you can pound onto it and then break it loose with a regular breaker bar. Those type of wheel locks are not that bad to remove. However, this type of the spinning ring can be very difficult. This type of socket that you pound on is very ineffective on this type of wheel lock bolt. Here you can see a real lock bolt and a real removal key where they're stripped or you can have a scenario where the socket is physically completely missing. Either way it makes it very difficult to remove. There's many different ways of addressing the problem. Some will weld a large blob of metal onto the end of the bolt and then pound a socket on for removal. Others will grind away the spinning ring and the outer portion of the bolt and drill it out in the center and then pound on a socket for removal. But either way, it is very, very easy to damage the rim and having to, at a minimum, refinish the rim or in some cases even replace the rim, which gets quite expensive for the customer and or the shop, whoever is liable for this repair. These type of uh, high security wheel lock bolts are used on BMW, but also on many other brands. The solution is the ATA Real Lock Removal Tool. This comes with a full set of laminated instructions. A collet that can pull the real lock apart and a remover that can access the spline and take it out very easily. Let me show you how it's done. Here we have a reel that has been cross-sectioned so you can see what's going on inside the hole. You start by taking the pin and inserting it in a cross hole and inserting the collet over the wheel lock bolt and the spinning ring. You insert it all the way down and start tightening the outer collet by hand. Only hand tightening is necessary. As it tightens onto the bolt, you can feel there is a little bit of play and as you get it fully tight, the play will go away. Continue tightening until the outer collet is tight and no movement is felt. Remove the cross pin and turn the reel until the reel lock tool and the bolt you're going to remove is at 12 o'clock. Lower vehicle until rate of vehicle is no longer supported by the lift. At this point, you need a slide hammer with a 5 8 18 thread adapter, a brass hammer, and a breaker bar with a 17 millimeter socket. Support the slide hammer and thread the 5 8 18 adapter into the end of the real lock removal tool. Continue tightening until you can see the thread in the hole. At all times, support the slide hammer so it's not carrying the weight and can damage the rim. Hold on to the adapter and slide outwards. This separates the collet from the real bolt. Use the spline removal tool to remove the bolt. Align the spline by hand and with a brass or plastic hammer Fully seat the tool into the real lock bolt. With the 17 millimeter breaker bar, break the real bolt loose. Now you have the real bolt and the collet separated. To remove the bolt from the removal tool, put the pin to the center and hit it on the end with a brass or plastic hammer. Now that the real lock bolt out, all there is left is to loosen the outer collet, allowing the ring and the locking pad to come out. For more information on the ATA real lock tool, 
or to purchase it online, you can find it on atatools.com. We do require that you have a business license in order to purchase this tool.